How's it going, Teal Boys? Happy 4th of July from me, and apparently also from the college football revamped team. They dropped a surprise update, uh, kind of fitting for the name, though. It's the American Conference. It's done. Version 13 is out. We're going to take a look at the awesome new jerseys included in it. The conference has a lot of teams that have some interesting uh jerseys to look at so i'm excited and let's get into it we'll go alphabetical today so uh we're gonna start with cincinnati just get right into it the bearcats uh we'll just start with the away clean simple cincinnati not necessarily the most outrageous uniforms in this conference uh because there's some crazy ones but they have you know some nice stuff the throwbacks are nice and cool oh i always love a good throwback uniform uh you've got the alternate one uh, red and black, nice look. The alternate two, which is the kind of in a way alternate with the red helmet on the white. Uh, you've got the alternate three, black and white. Uh, the alternate four, red, black, and white. So just kind of all these combinations. Nice away alternate with the black on alternate five. Six is all red with the black helmet. Uh, and then you've got the home, which is all black. And the away, which is white and black. Uh, you could uh, throw in a couple more things here because I don't know if we saw everything. You could do all red. I don't know if that was one of the alternates, but uh, pretty simple, pretty cool. Good start. Uh, and we're going to go and go to one of the ones that I think is one of my favorites. I don't know why. I think it's just the color purple is solid on a, uh, on a college football uniform. So we go right away next to uh, ECU and East Carolina very awesome uh they've got the the sides of the pants which are so awesome with the uh the let's see the cutlasses and the bones uh the the helmet's fantastic uh but their alternates are what shines to me so the away is cool um they've got i guess it's kind of on there as well on the home but they've got the pirate on the shoulder uh the purple chrome helmet's pretty cool uh but how about this the blackout is the first alternate option uh kind of camo patterns again same shoulder patch the pants are awesome the helmet's got that like uh throwback logo for the team on the side of it so that is absolutely phenomenal and then you throw that in with the rest of the uh the alternates and, and you've got yourself a real treat the icy white is the uh the first away alternate pretty much the same as the uh the away uniform just with white pants instead of purple uh, but I do like that they get the official names for these in, so that's very cool. Uh, and then you've got all sorts of alternates. You've got home alternate one, the all purple. You've got home alternate two, the purple and black. Uh, the, these uh, Every bit of these uniforms seems to go together, so great job from ECU to create a, a good concept that matches well together. Uh, alternate four, black and purple just kind of reversed. Uh, and then they've got the away alternate one and two uh and just fantastic so uh a couple of helmets to work with uh, and a lot of jersey and pant options that you could uh you can make some some interesting looks for sure we'll go ahead and head to texas for our next one as we will have houston on the board and the cougars uh again kind of a team with some simple but clean uniforms uh nothing too crazy there home and away are what you come to expect uh, nike branding the american patch just uh you know i, I don't know it's a it's a classic team <laughs> uh black is pretty cool they've got the white black helmet so it's it's uh they got the black logo on it and then the all black jersey and pants then there's the anthracite which is kind of a more of a gray with the red helmet you've got the alternate one with just the uh the red helmet and jersey with the white pants you've got your alternate two just with the white helmet alternate three is an away alternate red helmet white jersey alternate four is all white and then we're back to the home honestly i think that i prefer uh that what is it the alternate one compared to the normal uh home uniforms for them i, I think the white pants looks good with that but uh, a simple but clean job with houston after that, we'll take a quick little trip over here to Memphis. And the Tigers, I think, have some very, very cool ones. You can see they've got the, the new helmet. 
and the shoulders that have those tiger stripes on them so very cool uh the home and away pretty much the same thing just inverted from each other uh blue white versus the white blue helmets uh they've got the black one so at least three helmets uh that all black is awesome i just love the the tiger striping you've got the gray ones <laughs> so very awesome and then you've got a simple kind of more throwbacky uh gray helmet uh the alternate two with the gray white is very clean look the alternate three with the black and white helmet uh and then we go back to the home so how many helmets is that one two three four five six seven seven helmets is a lot of helmets to, to have in your uh your arsenal for being able to mix and match uniforms so memphis that might be the highest that we've seen in a long time maybe the ducks have quite a few i don't even know if it's seven though uh, so and then the blue jersey the black jersey so you could come through and while they don't have a lot of uh custom ones created you could figure some out on your own and come up with some maybe interesting combinations but there's a lot for you to work with there and i just love the look uh the tiger striping is a genius idea and i think they executed it pretty well and of course the mod team did a great job immortalizing it into the video game let's head back to texas uh smu in the mustangs uh again another team that's a uh, pretty classic look there um you know you don't expect smu to come out with anything crazy so these are just uh, a clean update from what the base game had and uh you know of course there's gonna be some decent alternates i really do like these dallas ones uh, you've got the dallas script across the front of the chest the the logo on the helmet is superb um there's there's it's it's fantastic it's as simple as that uh alternate one you throw the red pants on so not a crazy amount to work with you just have the the two helmets but again you could uh mix and match things and create some cool combinations when your team colors are red white and blue uh it's pretty easy to, to change them up and have it, it look completely fine so a lot that you can do you can make whatever combination you want and it's gonna work um so fantastic there temple is next uh again a team that has some decent updates from when they were in the game uh and i like it quite a bit i like the cherry color itself uh but then you've got the the shoulders and the the sides of the pants very cool helmet updated with the text kind of a simple helmet but looks fantastic nonetheless all these teams in the american you know they do either a, a crazy job of, and they do a good job being crazy or they're very simple and they do a really good job being simple there's not a lot of teams that have bad uniforms i know i'm saying that and some of you guys are very opinionated about the last team on this list but we'll get to that in a bit not a whole lot that you can do with temple uh alternate wise you're just kind of mixing and matching the couple of options you've got one helmet you've got two jerseys and you've got two pants so uh just kind of figuring out which one of those you like the best but you're not gonna be going crazy with temple We've spent some time looking at teams from Texas in this video. Let's look at one from Oklahoma, Tulsa, uh, Golden Hurricanes. And you better believe they're going to have some golden helmets there. That's uh, that's fantastic. I love that helmet quite a bit. Uh, I, I mean, gold is a pretty solid color as well on a, on a college football uniform. So I enjoyed that. The Hurricane on the side of the pants. Uh, golden on the other side. Uh, let's see. What's the home? Just the opposite again simple home and away and then you start to get a little bit crazy with the alternates you've got the white out i always love a good white out in uh on an away team or even at home if you get the fans involved uh alternate one the blue and gold is fantastic the white and blue is fantastic on alternate two three kind of just inverted from that so uh, you know nothing crazy again they don't have like some spectacular uh one-off uniform but they have enough different variations that you can change things up and, and keep it fresh so uh tulsa uh, a fun one a good one but we're gonna go to the state of florida and florida man got a hold of these last two teams uniforms it's as simple as that ucf and usf are kind of crazy uh with some of the stuff they're doing ucf might have my favorite uniforms for sure in this update 
Uh, just their standard home and away look fantastic. You gotta love it. Um, I mean, the night's looking beautiful there. Nothing, nothing too crazy on their home and away, but then we start to get a little bit more absurd. The all black is absolutely fantastic. Um, and then you've got an anthracite there. Team's really liking this color. Uh, I can't blame them. There's the silver look and then the fun one, the space. Oh, it's so good. Uh, how can you, how can you not like the space one? There's the constellations in the Jersey number. Uh, you've got USA on the side like a rocket would. You've got constellations on the shoulder pad. You've got space in general on the helmet. Those helmets are fantastic, by the way. Uh, just an absolutely phenomenal alternate. And just like maybe SMU with its red, white, and blue, this one fits with today's uh, 4th of July release. Very patriotic uh, and just fantastic all around. I don't know how you could see these uh, uniforms and dislike them because they are done so well and again the mod team just doing an incredible job of putting these into the game again one of my favorite if not my favorite uh uniforms in this update uh they do also have tons of alternates uh again you're gonna be able to mix and match quite a bit so uh you know just going through seeing nothing too crazy it's, it's kind of what you expect but uh just a lot of options to work with if you do end up playing with ucf so a lot of fun uh, I mean, when you get to alternate 10, you know there's a lot to work with. And then, of course, you could always just throw in uh, whatever you wanted to randomly. A lot of helmets, again, for uh, for the Knights there. But, like, you could throw in the Space Helmet. And the Space Helmet uh, works, honestly, with, I think, a surprising amount of stuff. So, uh, fantastic. And so we go from the, uh, the 2019 Space Jerseys that uh, everybody likes to a very very controversial one when we go down to uh usf and the bulls uh they're home and away nothing too crazy i enjoy it quite a bit i like the uh the shoulder where you've kind of got the bull horn uh i think that's a nice touch uh where they go a little bit crazy is with this alternate oh man the <laughs> the more i see it honestly the more it kind of grows on me, but slime green, just completely in your face, a little bit crazy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't really have words for it. It's just, it's just there. Uh, and I know that a lot of people really, really do not like this. It's, it's on par with the, uh, the Michigan State neon green ones that they wore a while ago. I don't know which one of them would be considered worse, but this is definitely up there uh usf trying something doesn't really work and then you go to this this uh southern florida i'm assuming that's what soflow stands for black i love the gradients i have to be honest i'm just a sucker for gradient on sports uniforms you look at like some nba stuff recently he had uh the the suns the valley ones and i think denver and utah had gradient stuff so i'm just a fan of that but these look fantastic again the horns on the shoulders, uh, I think are so cool. Um, so, I mean, comparatively, I don't know how you make one uniform that's so, like, controversial and atrocious, and then one that's just, like, very classic and, and done so well. Uh, it's bizarre to me. And then when you when we go back to, like, their more standard uniforms, I'm completely lost. Uh, but, uh, yeah, USF with some alternates in there. And again, you could just completely throw in some of the random stuff like if we want to go with this alternate uh what was it the alternate two but if we throw in like the slime green you know you've got a lot to work with you can make some crazy combinations so i don't i don't really know slime green with the southern florida uh kind of works uh it, i think definitely having that slime green not be the entire uniform is better when you uh pare it down with another part it, it looks uh a little bit better and then uh you've got a couple of different helmets to work with so again uh i mean the slime green uh the more i look at it the more it grows on me but i think that might just be uh, an indicator of how bad my taste in uniforms is so that's gonna do it for this uh version 13 update again Hats off to the college football revamp team. Uh, not only was this one a surprise, it came honestly very quickly off of the heels of that Pac-12 update. 
So again, uh, thank you to them for all the work that they put in. Uh, they, they don't miss. It's as simple as that. They continue to pop out bangers. So that is incredible. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like button. And then down in the comments, I've got two things that I want to hear from you guys. The first, what is your favorite uniform combination from this update? Uh, mine, again, it's got to be the uh, the UCF Space Race ones. Uh, I just I don't see how you could not love those. Uh, and then two, I want to know what you guys think is the next conference to get updated. They are now just doing uh, the G5 conferences. The Sun Belt's already done. Now we've got the Americans, so... Uh, personally, I know which one I want it to be, but I think it's probably going to be, like, the Mountain West. Uh, seems like, I don't know, they've done two on the East Coast, maybe they throw in the West Coast, update Boise State, uh, update Hawaii, those are probably, would be my two favorite, but they've got, uh, they've got a lot to work on with, uh, with those. Uh, I don't know, maybe it could be the MAC or CUSA or something. And I've realized in the making of this video that in the past few Dynasty videos I've put out, I haven't given you guys a hint like I said I was going to do for what our next Dynasty team is going to be. So we're just going to go with a big one. It's going to eliminate a solid amount of teams. Uh, yeah, honestly, quite a bit. I can't count them. The team that we are going to be joining next season is east of the Mississippi River. So uh, anything west of it is not going to be where we're going uh <laughs> i'll try to remember to give a couple more updates because we're starting to run out of games in in the dynasty uh unfortunately that's gonna do it for this episode i love when they drop these surprise updates uh it's absolutely fantastic and they did a phenomenal job so again if you haven't already please like the video and if you want to be notified when uh these videos on updates come out or, or dynasty or anything else that we decide to eventually do on the channel please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Both those things legitimately do a tremendous job in helping this channel grow, and I appreciate that. So uh, thank you guys for the support that you guys have shown recently because it's been pretty massive. When you're done with that, head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my Twitter, our community Discord, and of course, if you're trying to get this version 13, there's going to be a link to the college football revamped mod. But all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.